Is this the fastest that I can walk? Well, you're at a funeral, it looks like, so. Oh, are you supposed to walk this fucking slow at a funeral? I didn't realize. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Nice umbrella. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you whore. You tore apart my family. The hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. This is a very ugly hotel. I see why <laughs> she wants to sell it. What the f- <laughs> place would give me a migraine. Hey, well, look at the toilet again. <sighs> is that the holes in the front like that? Does the shit just tumble down into there? Does that say head and shoulders? <laughs> That's head and shoulders! Red, red, red and holders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting offended by that bathroom. Quig it. After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Is that true? I don't know. I don't wear lipstick. Mm. All I know is that when I was little, they tasted real good. I do like the graphics and lighting of this game. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. But why am I going so slow? My point of view looks like I've been drinking. Oh, wait, wait, go wait. back. Down. <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> that should not be indoors. I, I hate how long that took me to <laughs> put together for someone that just like listens to you nonstop now, talk about gas. Well, it could be indoors. I'm assuming it's indoors because it has no gas inside the tank. That's perfectly fine. Hold on, let me pause so I can pay full attention to this. <laughs> I'm gonna need to know this for later. I'm sure it's a huge part of the game. <laughs> She's gonna call up her lawyer friend or whatever he is. Listen, there's a tank inside the building. This is not. It. Yeah. It's not up the code. It's probably just empty. That's my guess. Is that your educated guess, or is that just what you're hoping? For safety reasons, I'm hoping <laughs> that it's empty. Maybe she didn't kill herself. Maybe she blew up. Maybe she just didn't follow code. <laughs> yeah, maybe she just didn't follow code on the gas. <laughs> and that's why you keep grill tanks outside. Imagine this whole game was just a lesson on yeah. on like the on safety of safety. Yeah. She was only five three, by the way. It's like average lady height. Five four, but whenever. I'm five five. You're ever so slightly above average. <laughs> Thank you. It's a sign. Oh, what are the odds? Uh, this game is definitely about propane safety. Imagine your only shtick being knowing things about gas. <laughs> I like that you call me Nikki. Ooh. -woo. <laughs> yeah, let's just go through this creepy corridor by ourselves. The diddle dungeon, as I like to call it. <laughs> Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. He would never have built a f***ing underground shrine for a dead person. Kitty diddle <laughs> simulator. <laughs> Don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. And now we're offering ourselves two. What's even happening in this game? I, I don't... Can you look up a summary of the story, please? Late in the game, Nicole has a nervous breakdown because she finds an extremely creepy replica of Rachel's bedroom, which, by the way, looks like it belongs to a six-year-old <laughs> in the basement of the hotel. This shrine to a dead person seems to repulse her more than the fact that her father screwed a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> the game's writers don't seem to understand that Leonard's crime wasn't marital infidelity, it was child abuse. <laughs> Throughout the game, Nicole's only companion is Irving, who claims to be FEMA agent who communicates with her via cell phone. During the game's climax, Irving reveals that he's actually Rachel's brother. Irving was obsessed with discovering the truth about what happened to Rachel, so he moved into the motel with Leonard and waited for years for Nicole to show up. <laughs> when they put it in the review like this, it sounds crazy. Like, it was such a serious game until I read this review. He's literally just saying what happened in the game, but it sounds like a joke. <laughs> He's been living in the condemned back corner of the hotel the entire game, <laughs> leading her through creepy scenario after creepy scenario to make sure that she was ready for the truth. <laughs> and has the gall to claim that he was lying to protect her. The abuser vibes here are strong. ESORF's big reveal is that Claire Nicole's mother killed Rachel out of jealousy and threw her body in the ravine to make it look like a suicide. Irving claims that Nicole was so jealous of the attention that Leonard paid to Rachel that he that she repressed her <laughs> memories about her mother's suspicious behavior around the time of the murder. So it's actually Nicole that failed Rachel not the adult tutor who molested her. <laughs> the problem isn't child abuse. It's murderous jealous spouses. If only women would just let men be horrifying child abusers. None of this would have happened. Let's take a moment to note that Irving loved Rachel so much that he hung out in the abandoned motel with her molester for years. <laughs> Did this game have good reviews when you downloaded it? I don't know, I got it for free. Because every single review here is just bashing the game. I mean, for good reason. Now that we think about it, it just glorifies. so much that he hung out with a molester in the It's like completely different when you play the game and then when you read about it, like as a synopsis. Old enough to pee, old enough for me. 